I was always kind of the kid who was, you know, good at art, right? In one form or another, I was pretty obsessed with drawing until I was actually in art college. And then I really started painting and haven't looked back since then, really. Well, when I went to White Pine, it wasn't for the, the standard season of camp. It was because um, it was an art camp and it was about nine or 10 days. And that was probably the, actually it was definitely the first time in my life that I'd been around dozens and dozens of people who were, you know, similarly inclined towards creativity. Only in retrospect, probably can I look back and say that, you know, that's what it meant, but it was intensely fun. And I can see now that a lot of that had to do with being around tons of artists in various stages of development. I was already so interested in art that I'd probably be doing it anyways. But it definitely, that was my first wilderness painting, my first, you know, wilderness sketching. So I'm sure it, it embedded itself in my destiny somewhere. <laughs> it's just a natural reaction to your own sense of aesthetics, I guess, you know, is to, to want to paint whatever you find visually interesting. And um, there's no shortage of incredible material any anytime you set foot outside your your door into some wilderness and it's its own experience so you're really in your environment and and uh, every day that you paint outside you get more in tune with your environment and your paintings get better every day communing with nature is not some weird hippie thing it's just incredibly natural to us as as humans you know